Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the fourth roots of negative 1. So whenever you're asked for the roots of a complex number, the very first step is to write your complex number in what's called trigonometric or polar form. Let's go ahead and do that. And I said complex number even though it's negative 1, but negative 1 you know, actually is a <laughs> complex number. Right? You can write negative 1 as negative 1 plus 0i. So Every real number is a complex number. And so we want to write it in what's called uh, trig form or polar form. That means that this is equal to r parentheses cosine theta plus i sine theta. You can also use exponentials. This is the same thing as r e to the i theta if you prefer. All right, so we just have to figure out r and theta r is called the modulus and theta is called the argument. In this example it's very nice because we can do it by just graphing our complex number. So negative 1 is right here. Negative 1 plus 0i is going to be right here. And the modulus is going to be this distance here. So if this is negative 1, the modulus is just 1. And the angle is the angle that's right here. And we know that this is 0, this is pi over 2, and this is pi. That means that our argument, that's what it's called, is theta. So now we can take our complex number and write it in the correct form. So r we said was 1, theta is pi. So we have that negative 1 is equal to 1 times, and then it's cosine of uh, pi plus i sine pi. It seems like a very convoluted way <laughs> to write negative one, uh, but now we, we've done that. So now, and again, you know, honestly, we didn't even need to write it this way. We just really need to figure out theta and r. So now we can use the formula for the roots. The formula is the following. So the kth roots are given by z sub k, and it's equal to the nth root of r, where n is the roots we're looking for. So in our case, n is four, parentheses, cosine of theta over n plus 2k pi over n plus i sine theta over n plus 2k pi over n. All right, where k here runs from 0 to n minus 1. Okay, so now we just have to uh, figure all this out. So theta is pi and n is 4. Let's go ahead and plug that stuff in. So z sub k, so when n is 4, you get the fourth root of 1, because r is 1. So you just get 1. So this whole piece here is 1. So we have cosine, theta is pi, and n is 4. So you just get pi over 4 plus 2k pi over 4 plus i sine, again theta is pi, n is 4, plus 2k pi, I forgot the pi here, could save, over 4. Okay, so now we just have to plug in uh, each number individually. So let's start with 0. So z sub 0, this is our, our first root. Well, that would just mean that um, the k is 0, so you just get cosine of pi over 4 plus i sine of pi over 4. Really nice angles. Most people memorize these. These are both square root of 2 over 2. So our first root is the square root of 2 over 2 plus i square root of 2 over 2. So this is one of the fourth roots of negative 1. Really cool stuff. Let's do another one. z sub 1 equals, let's see, cosine pi over 4. So now k is 1, so we just get plus, uh, so 2 pi over 4 plus i sine, go a little faster here, pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4 
So z sub 1 is the cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus i sine of 3 pi over 4. And 3 pi over 4 is uh, in quadrant 2, right? Because this is pi, which is uh, 4 pi over 4. So the angle that has a reference angle of pi over 4 that's here is uh, 3 pi over 4. And um, that means that the cosine is negative because it's a quadrant 2. So this will be negative root 2 over 2. And the sine is positive because it's the y-coordinate so uh, on the unit circle. So i squared of 2 over 2. So that would be the other one. Um, z sub 2. This would be cosine. Let's, let's skip a step here. So when we're plugging in 2 here, uh, we're going to get pi over 4 plus 4 pi over 4. So that's going to be 5 pi over 4. So this is going to be the cosine of 5 pi over 4, just to save some time, plus i sine of uh, 5 pi over 4. And so 5 pi over 4 is here. So they're both negative in this case, because the x is negative and the y is negative. So this is negative root 2 over 2 minus i root 2 over 2. So that's another root of um, of negative 1. And the last one would be z sub 3. And again, let's do some, some pre-thinking. If you have pi over 4 and you plug in 3 here, you're going to get plus 6 pi over 4 because 2 times 3 is 6. So you're going to get 7 pi over 4. So this will be the cosine of 7 pi over 4 plus i sine of 7 pi over 4. And that's over here, and that's because this is 2 pi, which is 8 pi over 4, so it's pi over 4 less. Here in this angle, um, the cosine will be positive and the sine will be negative, because cosine is the x-coordinate and sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So cosine's positive, so it'll be root 2 over 2, and sine is negative, so minus i root 2 over 2. And that would be the other... Uh, complex roots. So those are the fourth roots of negative one. It takes a lot of work <laughs> to do these problems. Uh, hopefully it's been helpful in some way. That's it. Good luck.